Hello everyone. Thank you for clicking on my very first YouTube video. Um, in this video, I've been looking and watching everyone's setups and planner lineups for 2020. And I just kind of wanted to walk you through mine because I haven't seen anything quite like what I, what my setup is. So I thought I might um, throw this out there and maybe it could help some of you all. I have been using Happy Planner for the last three years. I started off with the classic size vertical and um, kind of struggled through that one because I my brain automatically goes to the morning, afternoon, and evening when I look at that layout. So um, I struggled through that one and I tried the classic horizontal for a while when I got a different job, which um, that didn't work for me either. I also got a, a big and that was just way, way, way too big for me. And then I found the mini and specifically the mini dashboard. And that has worked wonders for me. And this year I am going to add a couple more things into my planner and do a little fl Franken planning this year. So let's go ahead and dive into this. First of all, this um, cover is actually one of the pen and gear covers from Walmart. Um, I'm not particularly, I'm not a huge fan of yellow gold, so I'm not a particular fan of this, but what I absolutely love is this feature right here, that it's just this elastic that holds it together. I have, I have two of these guys with this little, from the Happy Planner with this little snap here. And what I found that is that when I would go to write in it, I would push this aside and it would get like on my nerves whenever I, or when I was trying to take a picture of my planner and the cover, you had this little thing hanging over here. And so it just didn't work out for me. So this was basically the only one that was left um, in the shelves that were an absolute mess in Walmart. If you guys have been into the stationary um, part of Walmart, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so, but my favorite color is blue. I really like mint blue, but this one is really great. Um, but then I just, whatever, it's okay because I like the way it's set up. So anyways, I love that there are places for cards. Now I haven't done put any of my cards in here because I, have not fully committed to doing like using this as my wallet um but it actually this planner actually matches my purse and my wallet perfectly so it's pretty cool that it worked out this way um and there's the elastics in here from the traveler's notebooks that came in here i was gonna take these elastics out but then i thought maybe i might want to add some sort of things into here in the future so i just left them and again i'll ignore them but you can see already what one of the happy planners that I'm going to be using this year is, and that is the Homebody. So um, this year I am using the Homebody, which there's the cover here, and I have the first two months. Um, here's the rest of it, and I left the the gold ones over here. And then once I f finish a month, I'm going to take it out of this and put it into here because one of the things what, that I found with these cases is that you have to have the mini discs in order for it to close properly. You can't switch it up to like a classic size disc um, and have it work the same way. So I've got the first two months of the year of my home body in here. And then I am using the wellness planner, which is amazing, I love it. And I am using this lined vertical planner for my faith. And we'll just walk through all of that too. So those are the three planners that I put in. I had these lavender discs that I got when I was, I think it was with the Faith Happy Notes. I switched out the disc to this. So um, yeah, so I had these on hand and I thought they went nicely with all three of the planners. So let's open them up and take a look. So first I did a little reading list um, for 2020 i have so many books that i want to read and um yeah so this is my little place to keep track of which books i want to read next and 
how they were. I have a little guide down here. That's just for me. Anyways, that's fun stuff. I got some of the homebody filler paper in here because you got to have some sort of place to put notes or lists if you need them. And then I just picked up this gorgeous little sticky notes dashboard because it matches perfectly with the whole color scheme of my planner. I like the pastels, very muted tones in here. I have not yet added my name. I will be lettering that very soon, but I wanted to um, get this video out um, so that you guys could take a look and see if it could help you guys set up your new planner. So um, there's my little homebody section. I've got my um, kids schedule for school somewhat in there a little bit. I'm, I think I'm going to use this for, you know, days off from school and early releases and like their kind of schedule. So if we plan vacations and whatnot, I can plan around that. Uh, nothing on the dashboard here as of yet. Not really sure how to use that. And here I will put all of the dates and things um, for our important events. I really, really, really wish that there were small boxes for the mini monthly layout. Happy planner if you're listening. Please, 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 that would be helpful. Okay, so now we're gonna go into the first week in here, which I just did a little meal planning in, on that sheet, so we'll just take that out. So my planning this year is going to be very simple and very functional. In the past, oh, let me show you what I had. I, I was using an expansion pack um, up until here to, to figure out if I liked the dashboard layout. And I actually like the layout of the homebody much better than this other layout. Um, so the way I was using this, I, see I filled this one out, but I did not even <laughs> come back and finish it, which is so funny. Um, and see, this just looks really crowded and busy to me, but I would always use this area up here for my, my daily workouts. Um, I'm super excited that that's going to be changing, but yeah, I mean, it's fun to do all of this, but I really want to be, um, a little bit more simple and functional and a little bit more pen, uh, a little more classy. So I would always change this to do. I never ever used the to. So I think it's calls and emails and things like that. I just, it was too much to try and cover up every single time. Um, so yeah, that's what, and I was kind of happy to pull that out <laughs> to, to do this because now we're moving into the new planner. Okay, so I'm probably going to do a to-do over here and then that'll be my to-do list and I'm going to, you know, try and use this to buy because we do have some things that pop up throughout the week that we need to go and buy and I'm tr going to try and use this for dinner, actual dinner plans and menu planning. So yeah, that would help us out tremendously because we've got busy kids. I mean, we've, <laughs> you kids, as you can see, we've got wrestling practice three days a week. And you know, my, my daughter has archery practice usually twice a week, but because this is a, they're on their winter break right now, it's a little bit less crowded, um, on here, but that's what I, when I plan, I put specific, the boxes down on to specify dates or activities that are happening. Um, that's how I plan. And then I do get a little bit decorative over here. But one of the cool things that I also did was I was going to use the dashboards. I really like clear dashboards because I want to be able to see my page. Um, so I actually cut down some of these bookmarks that were, were for the classic size so they could fit in there. But what I noticed is that they, it was making it really hard to turn. So what I did was I got these little Avery, um, ultra mini tabs. Now these ones are the metallic pack. I actually ordered the pastels pack in from Amazon and they are on their way. They'll be here probably tomorrow, but I, again, wanted to hurry up and get this video in. And I also do not have all of the rest of my stuff in. I am still waiting for a, um, a haul from Mambi. It's not a huge haul, but I have those little mini, um, half sheets for the homebody and the washi tape from Homebody Wellness and Faith, the new Faith line that came out because you'll see where I'll be using that. But I love, I put the tab here, like you can see on this one, I marked it with a today sticker. So then all I have to do is open right to using the tab, I open right to today and they're repositionable. So you can, 
just peel it off the next week and then stick it right in there and you're ready to go for your next your next week and it'll still say today so you can flip right to today's date or week layout I love that so that is my first my catch-all planner I, I use sticky notes whenever I plan out different stuff so that's my kids stuff and some of my stuff so um, that's my first section and then my next section is the wellness planner I am so 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 excited about this again I will be lettering my name on here um, pretty shortly but um, this is gonna work out great this year and I'm super excited I will be writing in my goals on here it's kind of probably somewhat personal thing so that's why I haven't done it yet because I didn't know if I wanted to share that with you guys um, but one of the things that I'm going to be using these pages for and why I have this tab marked with I don't know if you can see that because it's rose gold but it's a little like a heart rate kind of um, visual uh, image well I have a thing for tracking my resting heart rate um, I like to see you know when when you exercise more and you and you lose the weight your resting heart rate is lower when you're more in shape and um, sort of a healthier um, your resting heart rate is lower um, what I've noticed in my health journey that I've had so far what is that there are certain things that I eat or drink that will make my heart rate go up so if I have sugar or um, alcohol which is going to be getting cut out in the first of the year throughout this year anyways um, so anyways my plan is to track my resting heart rate for each one of these Days. So I thought, so I put my little tab here with my, so I could turn right to it whenever it's ready. And then we move into my January. I already have my three goals filled out here. Um, so I want to exercise for at least 30 minutes daily. Um, I'm calling this a journal section be mainly because there was no like wellness that I could put on here. Um, so it's kind of a fitness and wellness all in one. And you'll see something really cool that with these three um, goals right here. Exercise, fill out every section of the journal and read at least 20 minutes a day that goes back to my reading list is trying to get more reading in, reading more um, personal development books throughout the year. So up here, when it says to write an encouraging note to yourself, I just mainly use the wellness book um, with this little reminder here. And then, you know, I wrote down how I'm strengthening my mind, my body and myself. And um, this, I actually use the Rachel Hollis Start Today Journal, which you start your day off with um, five things that you're grateful for, as well as setting 10 um, intentional goals. Um, and you fill that out every single morning. Um, and this came in with my, my newest order of the Start Today Journal. Um, and I thought it was really cute, so I punched it and put it in, and it matched perfectly. So... Um, so one of the things that I'm super excited about using the fit, the, all this wellness, um, planner is for my workouts. I do strictly Peloton workouts at home. I, I don't have the Peloton bike. I have a different spin bike that was less expensive and I just use the Peloton app or Peloton digital. And, um, they have all kinds of stuff, yoga, meditation, cycle, um, running, which I don't have a treadmill yet. I'd like to get one, but, um, my, one of my goals this month was to go through the total strength program. And so I've already written out that plan. And then in the other days in between, I'll fill in with different cardios and things. We actually have a new row machine that's coming in on Tuesday, I believe. So we'll have a new rower here so I can put rowing into the mix as well. So I always plan out and track my exercise that way. So that's what I'm using my monthly for. And then moving into my weekly. Um, intention is probably going to be the hardest one for me to actually fill in. Um, but I'll, I mean, maybe I'll do something like um, no negativity today, you know, for the day or um, eat more greens, something like that. But what I love, love, love is that this says nourish rather than a food log. I kept a food log for a while and it was fine. But then after you've kept a, a log for a while, it just, you kind of know what you should and shouldn't be eating. And so I did not need a food log. I just, so what I'm going to do with this nourish section is to do some 
nourishment of, you know, affirmations, um, positive things, you know, telling myself positive. So nourishing, um, basically my mindset and, um, that kind of a thing. My movement is going to be my exercise. So I did my little, you can see the workout from the monthly I, I pulled into here. So I have more detail on what exactly I'm doing on those days. So what I will do is sit down and I haven't done that yet. So that's something I am going to do this evening is write down what I plan to do on these days, matching my monthly. And then this is what I'm like probably the most excited about so I'm, and how I have my little tab here, but these little trackers they're for the monthly tracker. I was always like, well, how are you supposed to really use it if it's a whole month and you leave it, you know, way in somewhere? This is my little bookmark for my journal. And what I've done is I have matched the three habits that I want to track with my three goals over here. So usually, you know, sometimes when you're going through your weeks, this kind of gets forgotten and I, I don't ever remember to come back to this page. So I went ahead and I actually did exactly word for word what I wanted to do for each one of these. And then I have my tracker in my week. So once I do that thing, I can mark it off. And then I move that from week to week because this is now like basically my little bookmark for my weekly. And so I can always keep track of those three goals that I set in the first place um, in my dashboard. And as you can see in here, there is not a ton of decorating because um, I wanna keep this mainly um, just a wellness type of thing. So my intentions, nourishing, you know, my mindset with positive affirmations, my exercise. And then I, if you notice, I covered up the prompts for the journaling section. And that is because, like I said earlier, with the Start Today Journal, I'm already writing down like five things I'm grateful for every morning. So it didn't make sense to me to have, you know, I want to write whatever I want to write in here. Um, and so just kind of a reflection of the day, maybe the highlight from the day, things like that. So just taking time to come back to it in the evening and write out, you know, my favorite part of the day or something, something awesome from the day. I'm not really a fan of this decoration. I was just trying to play around a little bit, but you know, it's great about it. You just flip the page and you go to another week. And I love this one because it's super pretty, but, but little touches of pretty things here and there. And, um, yeah, so that's how I'm going to use that. And then, um, then we are moving into, if you can see my little tabs over here, we are moving into the next section, which is going to be my faith journal. Um, I, I did really, really well with some of the happy notes, faith uh, ones um, earlier on, but then I ran out of pages. And so I was kind of writing my own stuff in there, like like trying to lay it out the way it was laid out on the, on the printed side of the pages and everything like that. But so what I'm doing at this, and I just found this one, it was like $8 at Hobby Lobby, but I wanted it because it was the line vertical. But here where my little book bookmark is, I am going to write the verse of the day in here as in like, you know, clearly you can't write the entire verse. So it'd be like Psalm, whatever, you know, and then Proverbs, my favorite Proverbs three, five and six, you know, that kind of thing. So that'll fit in here. And then I kind of messed up when I was doing this because I know I didn't need a monthly, but I also didn't need a dashboard because I'm not really going to use this for the faith, but I realized after I put um, adhesive down on my divider that, oh, I don't really want to have to keep January divider in when I'm switching my month out. So anyways, whatever, fix that one. But so here, my plan for my faith is to actually write out the verse of the day and then do some journaling on that verse and like key things that I got out, got out of the verse and that kind of a thing. And again, a little bit of decoration, but mainly keeping it very functional as far as being able to write stuff down and um, interact a lot with my planner. So, and I mark that with faith. And again, every time I move to a different week, my, my little thing will, will move with so that it's my little place marker and I don't even have to worry about any kind of dashboards, anything like hindering me from seeing my um, planner. So 
that is basically my plan and what um, I am going to be. I am super, super excited. I have been had this set up for a long time. Oh, and I have like a couple of little bullet stickers in here because when I'm on the go, this is going to be in my planner or in my purse with me all the time, like all the time. And my plan is to really use the books that have color schemes that go with the color schemes here in these. So I have the, the this Daydreamer pack because it's got the nice pastel colors and I love rose gold, love it. So using that one, um, I just got this um, colorful boxes so I'll use the little um, pastel ones to maybe mark some keywords for my my faith or some things in my journals just and just to add a little bit more decoration. Um, of course, the Homebody Mini, which I love. I can't wait to just continue using this book. Hopefully, I won't get tired of it. Farmhouse, of course, with the pastels and the um, rose gold, and I use the heck out of my wellness. I really, really wish I could find the Wellness Mini. I have not been able to find it <laughs> anywhere. I think it was extreme limited edition. Um, if anyone knows where I can get a hold of it without having to spin an arm and a leg, that would be wonderful and very greatly appreciated. So that is it. That is my setup for the year. Um, and as I said, as I finish each month, I will move the next month in. So once January finishes up, I'm going to be moving that out and putting March in. And that is how I plan to um, use my planner throughout the year. I think it's going to be great. I'm going to switch out some of these metallic tabs for pastel ones. And yeah, so I hope this video was helpful for someone, uh, for some of you guys um, trying to figure out your planner piece and your planner lineup. And um, I hope you guys have a wonderful 2020. Thanks, guys. Bye.